Hello everyone and welcome to our first video of a Lego Friends series set. This is for ages 8 plus and it is set number 41747 Heart Lake City Community Kitchen and it is 695 pieces and it comes with four mini dolls uh, as you can see here. You have Leo, Alba, Abuelita, and Matilde. Um, and this set took me approximately two hours to build. It's a very easy build since it is a friend set and it is for ages eight plus. It has very easy to follow instruction. For now, we're going to show the time lapse of the build and then we will get into the great details and parts of this set. Okay, so I really thoroughly enjoyed putting this set together. It's actually probably one of my favorite sets I have built this year, and maybe that's just because I love to build modular sets because they can go right into my city. Um, but I think my favorite part about this set is just how bright and colorful it is, and it might not go with our other modular sets, but it is certainly a set that we can find a way to integrate into our summer edition of our city. Um, from the front here, you can see, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but it does also come with a little cat mini doll, um, which is an orange and white cat that I had been looking for for a while. Um, so that also led us to buy this set as well. Um, there's some really cool sticker elements. I don't think there, there are a couple print pieces, but for the most part, most of the details are stickers. Um, for example, this sign here that says seating upstairs is a sticker piece. This here, the restaurant name, is also a sticker piece as well. Um, and then there's also this really cool uh, hiring now sign along with uh, a wanted poster that has a cat on it, which is a little bit funny. Here on the little table, you can see those are a couple of the print pieces that come with this set. Um, they're a little taco, I believe, taco elements, and then also the lime, which we've seen before in other sets. Um, and yeah, so then this is the top floor here. It's a little um, upper patio area. Uh, it's got some really cool uh, items and bills on the table as well. And something else I also wanted to point out was that this is not this character's hair. Um, she, Matilde, is supposed to have blonde hair, as you can see over there. I wanted the blonde piece for a Taylor Swift minifig uh, for my summer concert series. So um, she's supposed to have blonde hair, but we did a little swap there. This is uh, inside view of the city. This is a modular kind of build. It's supposed to go with the apartment, Heart Lake City community apartments, I believe. So this piece can go um, as a bottom floor. So it is meant to be a modular, as you can see here, but then it kind of just slides back on, as you would expect. But to get a little closer look of the inside of this kitchen, uh, this was really fun to put together, and I especially love the little whisk element they have that even came with another one as well. All of these little kitchen elements had a duplicate, so we can use those other places in the city as well. Um, there's a little fridge over here in uh, the top piece here. It says, this is another sticker element that's supposed to say eggs. I don't know if you can see it back in there. Um, there's a little menu ordering board, and then this is the major uh, main stove top area for the kitchen and restaurant. Um, and the coolest part is this tortilla press um, that comes down and closes as such. Uh, very neat. I thought it was very Chipotle-esque and I love it. So that's a little look at the inside. Also something that I wanted to mention while we're on the back side of this building is how we are planning to close off this little rectangle here and make it a full 
closed modular building. It does not come like that. We saw a couple different ideas on rebrickable of how you could easily close this up. Um, we have a couple different pieces that we'll probably be pulling from our inventory to do so. So the colors might not match up perfectly, but again, the backside really won't be visible in our city. Um, but we plan to do that as well, and it should not be too difficult. And another really awesome part about this build here is these stair pieces that, um, as you can see from the time lapse, they go on top of each other and they just stack. They do move a little bit, but not to the point where they're going to move out of place and disrupt the build. I think this is a really neat way to build stairs, and I could see it being used in a lot of different uh, ways to build in with Lego. This is a really cool floral kind of viney element here to the side of the building that just adds a pop of color. It also hides a couple of the different uh, pieces that were build, used to build the inside there. Um, there's a couple green ones and I think there might even be an orange one back there as well. Some cute little flower elements and yeah so that is an overview of the build. It was really fun to put together. Um, I personally really enjoy putting together the friend sets. I think they're fun. They're usually re relatively easy and quick builds and they can also add a lot of color and um, depth to your Lego city. So thank you for tuning in to watch this video on the Heart Lake City Community Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for new videos and if you like this video, please like and subscribe as it supports our channel and keeps us motivated to keep making these videos for you. Thank you.